all right guys welcome back and uh i don't know how to start this one after that little fiasco so this is uh from the same day this recording that you see right now and i feel a lot better than i uh did from that impact and uh right now again i am racing with newbies it's just that i have learned a very very uh good lesson that while it is fun to race against other people it is not fun when bad things happen and there's nothing you can do to avoid them so <laughs> that uh, has put me to the conclusion that from now on I am NOT going to race on the weekends at all it um, is only good or fun when you are racing with a group of people that know what they're doing and uh, when you get stuck with people who uh, don't uh, unfortunately bad things have a huge potential so with that in mind i am in a race with seven other people so there's eight of us total of which only one person knows what they're doing and that is brendan brendan is a staff member here who uh, i raced with the other day when i hit my best lap time so far of 18.889 seconds i do not expect to do well in this session uh, just like the other one i think the best i did in that if i remember correctly was somewhere like i think 19.229 and that's because i was trying to find gaps and it was pretty difficult especially when you have three or four people that you're racing with so anyway i am now ready to go i am i think number five in this lineup or number four so we will see how i do i have already watched this group and uh, they're pretty bad so i'm gonna have to keep an eye out for what i do here Brakes are a little sensitive here. I do have to bump people. It's just how it goes. Now, my only concern with this group is that uh, they uh, have crashed pretty hard into the wall uh, without even trying. So, I'm going to have to be cognizant of that, especially when I see them in bad areas like the bottleneck I'm about to hit I think is right here yep all right so There we go, yet another group, or another person. Gotta watch out for him. I, I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of scared of looking at what my lap time is uh, as I go through there because of what just happened there. I got blindsided by a person in a blind spot, so do not want that to happen again to me. All right, since I took that line a little sharp, that put me to the outside of this edge of the straightaway. So, to be expected. Whew. At least I can find the gaps and execute this time with a little bit more ease, I think, than I could before. So there's that. This thing wants to slip and slide a little bit. Golly, look around. Almost crashing at that young one. I think that's like a 12 or a 13 year old kid.
I can't even see how many seconds my best lap time is, but I did see that I was in the top. So I guess that's a good thing. Oh, I can't read. I can't read what it says, but I think it's in the high 19s. point nine I think it says can't get any any better than that I uh, wonder if it also has to do with this cart here but could just be me also He gave me the inside line, so I took the inside line. That's what you're supposed to do. I had to slow down there because they were starting to go into my line. Ugh. Some people treat this like a joyride, like stick to your damn line, but, you know, as frustrated as I am, I'm also learning to be on the lookout for those who have no idea what they're doing. Like this gal. Getting an exercise out of all this. Nineteen two one eight, I think it says. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it for what it is. Man, steering wheel on this hill is giving me a hell of a workout. I'm gonna have Schwarzenegger arms by the time I'm done here. Whew. Anyway. <laughs> what a race. I can't believe I dodged through all those folks. I hit a couple folks, but that's just how it is. But either way, guys, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. You just can't, uh, you can't race against people who have no idea what they're doing. Uh, the same applied in Pakistan, in Chicago, here in Cleveland, everywhere. So, uh, everywhere I've raced, I, that's why I try to ask safety marshals to put me with people with similar skill sets and this was a good example yet again so two videos back to back of how bad it can get for you so anyway i'm about to be out of this cart and uh i'll see if i want to do another session but at this point man it's so difficult to try to navigate around people so i don't know what to say maybe i'll talk to you guys when i get back home but uh until then deuces